Should stop at Feast to check on Miles. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? Oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. And a bunch of convicts even do this. Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid needs crack. Distracting. The guy's suit. Hacking apps should work. Freaking intense. Who's got issues with that? Time to move. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Gauze? Iodine? But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. You two, get over here! All right, all right, all right. over there. Turn Need to get past these guys. Just give us the info and we'll stop. Oh, don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, boy. That's not what Benson wants to hear. Stupid Jim Man! Protect the city. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on, let's keep digging through it. I heard that. Uh, Sable guys give up the depot locations. Eventually, yeah. Now Another supply guys... tent. A couple trauma kits. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Looks like they're gonna divvy up the supplies. Gotta avoid that sniper. Oh boy. Better not try to short us. Hey. Oh, relax. Everybody gets a take. He's trying to short you. Dude, please don't embarrass me. Chill, please. I heard that!
on, Crate, be the one. <sighs> Moxicillin. Perfect. <laughs> that is a damn large man. <laughs> On the exploding bulldozer. Supply roots and schedule. Now! Yaskazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is. inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. Don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Maybe I can sneak beneath him. Come out, small one. He'll spot me if I don't distract him. Well, we are having fun with lights now? I will have fun with your face. Come out. I promise not to crush you. He's okay. He's okay. Ford is right past him. You test my patience. Come out now. Wait for it. I do not need this. I can 
Hussein. That's my exit. Need to get him to clear the opening. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha. <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You want a taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith.
simulating battle side chats. <laughs> you are funny, Malinki. I am almost sorry to destroy your tiny face. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Like an old Mary couple, you two. His suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Money. Target has no business. He fights for profit. Untrue. I ripped Fireman face off. I'm free. The money. <laughs> Find out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little forged together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells
tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but... I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Sable Team, this is Control. What's the situation in Robinson? Roger, Control, this is ATC Foxtrot. No sign of Spider-Man. More and more listeners are warning that the Mayor's Sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's warrant. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go! Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not... Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into... Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire room. It's because Sable... Yeah, that elevator goes... There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Off limits, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs. I've got a medical emergency here. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has finished their sweep. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. this thing. Gotta turn him around. Got movement. Stand by. Running a Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. 
Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. The fabul Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left the secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe.
Norma could be back any minute. Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norm. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Happy birthday, dear. Sorry, I'm a little late. It's been a busy month. I miss you, Em. Especially today. I've put Harry... <clears throat> I've sent him away. For treatment. We'll fix him, Em. I promise. Development of GR-27 was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board, and he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher. Norman and Otto. Wow, they look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but... Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? 
This can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. It's clear. Stand by, Control. I heard something. Status. Nothing to report. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. log. The whole project has gone to hell. TR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. I have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Spiders. 
Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The late Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. No. Ben Adder. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. A records facility could be perfect. Should check the good old elf. Devil's Breath Lab must have should check the good old elf. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Need to clear that balcony. You are crazy. 
<laughs> You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. Mm -hmm.